What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today, let's talk tech jobs in the UK and how much they pay to give a true understanding of what we earn in the tech industry and how this compares to other industries. The average UK salary is around 39,000 pounds and the average tech salary in the UK is about 62,500 pounds. Now from these figures, you can see that the average tech salary is far above the average salary in the UK for all industries. Tech salaries can definitely vary depending on factors like experience, job position and location. For example, a cloud engineer working in London is likely to make a lot more than a cloud engineer working in the same role but in Bristol or Newcastle or any other smaller city in the UK. And if you're getting into tech and you're looking to work at one of the large tech companies like a Google or Microsoft or Facebook or Meta, I should call it, or Amazon, these companies are known for offering really impressive salaries. These salaries often exceeding a hundred thousand pounds, depending on experience, of course. Just a disclaimer, the facts and figures used in this video have been put together using large job sites such as Glassdoor, Indeed, read and a few others now let's compare some of the other industries to the tech industry and see how much tech jobs make in comparison to a few other large industries in the uk teaching is making an average of forty thousand pounds lawyers make an average of sixty five thousand pounds journalists will make an average of forty thousand pounds pharmacists 50,000 pounds, engineers, 45,000 pounds, and accountants, about 42,000 pounds. These are the averages for a few different industries, and we can see that tech jobs fit nicely in at third on these industries that I've mentioned. Now, I haven't mentioned every industry in the UK, but I've just mentioned a few popular ones, and what we can see from this list is very interesting. From a first look, you'll gather that the only industries on this list that get more than tech jobs are doctors and lawyers, who typically spend a lot of time studying before getting their first job as a doctor or a lawyer. Doctors can spend many years, as well as lawyers will have to go to law school after they finish their degrees. The tech industry, on the other hand, you don't even really need a degree to be able to thrive in this industry. There are a lot of people working in the tech industry who don't have tech degrees. They've either gone and done some self-learning or they've gone on short courses and built up their knowledge and been able to get a really good job in tech. So far, the tech industry is looking really attractive compared to other industries and looks like a great place to get into. Let's look at a few different tech roles and how much they earn. Now, first we've got software engineers, cloud engineers, and cybersecurity engineers all with salaries falling between £55,000 and £65,000. Then we look at the solutions architects who make a bit more as it is a more experienced role. And I've made a video about this role before and I'll link that video in the description for this video. But solutions architects typically make around £75,000 on average. Data scientists make an average of 55000 of course, these numbers change and vary from site to site. Regardless of what the average is, you can expect to get a lot more with more experience and be earning much more than the averages I've mentioned in this video. Leadership roles such as chief technical officers or chief security officers can expect to earn over £120,000. And in a lot of cases, experienced individuals in these roles will be earning a lot more. And another quick mention is the machine learning engineer and if you're working as a machine learning engineer, you can expect to be earning an average of about £70,000. You can expect these averages to rise with the emergence of AI and ChatGPT and generative AI in recent years. Wow, so from what I've said, you've heard that in the tech industry, we earn a lot of money and we have great salaries. On the other hand, tech roles may not always earn so much. For instance, entry level positions cannot expect to earn so much in tech. I can say for myself, my first ever tech role was only £25,000 and this was a few years ago. Additionally, tech support roles or help desk roles typically do not earn a lot of money. So if you're going into IT support, it is a great place to start. But if earning a lot more money is what you're going after, 
moving into another area of tech would be your priority. As tech support might have much lower salaries when compared to software engineers and cloud engineers and all these other areas of tech. So the point of this video is that if you are considering a career in tech, it is crucial to research and understand the pay ranges of the roles you're applying for. Factors such as location, experience, and demand for skills will ultimately impact your earning potential. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it's been really helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video.